As always guys, table of contents down below. If you want to kind of skip through the video, I highly recommend you actually watch this video from start to finish. Otherwise, if you get sick, I hope it's sorry for you. Marching my way up to the top, to the top. Miss Munch, Miss Munch, Miss Munch. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I work in healthcare for those of you who don't know. I actually work at a hospital, so we are constantly sanitizing and hand washing in between patients. With this COVID-19 pandemic, you keep hearing in the media the importance of hand washing, but I don't necessarily see them showing you how to do that. So that's where I come in. I know it seems straightforward. Uh, it really isn't. And to be honest, a lot of you probably aren't doing it correctly. No offense. So some of you guys may wash your hands like this. Or you may wash your hands like this. And 20 seconds later. And some of y'all are dirty and not yourself at all. No. No. Those are not the ways you wash your hands. I'm just gonna bring you guys a bit closer here. So I'm gonna show you guys now how to properly wash your hands um, with a little bit of a modification. Just watch me and then you'll know what it is that I'm talking about. So first you're gonna run the tap like this. You can keep it about lukewarm. Get your hands a bit wet. Get a nice amount of soap on there. And now I just turned off the tap, right? So now I've touched the tap when my hands are dirty. You wanna get, you know, maybe an amount that's like Sorry, my phone's going off. You want to have an amount that's maybe like that or something in your hand. And then you're going to do a back and forth gathering motion like this. Now these are all the maneuvers you want to do. You want to do a circular maneuver like that on your hand with the pads of your fingers. Because that way you're cleaning the pads of your fingers as well as the palm of this hand here. And you want to also go like this so that your nails are getting cleaned. And then once you've done that, you want to get in between these fingers on this side. You'd be surprised how much bacteria ends up uh, remaining and getting uh, accumulated in these areas. Then you want to go like this on this side with your thumb. And you want to do a circular motion with your thumb like that. Now, don't forget about the back part of your hand when you're washing, because a lot of people tend to forget that. So do the whole back side here, back side, and also in between the fingers on this side. And then you want to go all the way through like that. So you're getting all of the fingers that way. You want to do the wrist as well. One thing I forgot to mention, if you're wearing any jewelry, uh, take it off before you wash your hands. And if you have long sleeves, make sure you roll it up so your forearm's exposed so that you can wash up your wrist a little bit, like how I'm doing. And the last thing you want to do is go around the nail because your nails can have a lot of bacteria as well. And you want to go underneath the nail. So I'm going underneath my, my fingernail, the tip of my nail. And you want to do that for each nail. I'm going slower just because I'm explaining to you guys, but ideally you'd be going faster than how I'm washing my hands right now. And that's pretty much it. Then you do the same thing for the other side. Same circular motion, like that. Make sure you're getting in all the areas here and along the side of your hand. And don't forget about the back side. All the way through. Press your wrist. If you do this at a normal speed, get all the areas you're supposed to, um, it should be for about 20 seconds. And you can even repeat some of them. Like this part you might do a couple times. Sometimes I like to do that kind of. Or you can just go through everything again really quickly. Just to make sure you're getting all the areas. If we had the automatic tab, I would just go like that and rinse it off right away. But because we don't, and I didn't want to waste water for the sake of the video, I'm going to take these two fingers here, 
and I'm gonna carefully turn the tap back on. Now, remember, when we touch the tap the first time, our hands were contaminated, right? So that means these parts of my fingers are technically contaminated. What I'm gonna do is just put a little bit more soap, again, and clean these two parts of my hands. So now, make sure when you rinse your hands off, you get rid of all the soap. You wanna make sure you don't leave any soap left over. Very important because the soap is gonna carry all the bacteria, all the germs off your hand, right? You don't want to leave any soap behind because otherwise you're leaving behind bacteria. I lost the mark in the lab that way, guys. That's how I know. So now you're going to take a paper towel. Use that to wipe your hands so they're nice and dry. And once you've done with they're dry, use this to turn off the towel. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Uh, and then you just go of uh, this. Uh, I forgot to bring the garbage here, so let me go and do that. Same thing with hand sanitizer. Um, you wanna wanna do the same motions that I was doing, basically until the hand sanitizer runs out. They say that roughly lasts about 15 seconds. Some people would also use um, a towel to dry their hands. I think paper towels are the best, personally. Every paper towel is a brand new paper towel, so you know that only you are touching it and you dispose of it right after. Whereas if you use a towel, unless it's a clean towel or unless it's your own towel, you really don't know whose hands have been on there. If you guys follow these tips, uh, you should be good to go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see. I'm gonna be having more healthcare videos in the future along with other types of videos. So stay tuned for those. And remember to stay safe amid the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. And until next time guys, take care.